Hey everybody, this is Claire and this is Small Joyful Things. As always, I go to thrift stores or estate sales or sometimes I buy things from Craigslist and I'm always looking for, well, pretty things and then I bring them home, try and find out as much as I can about them and then tell you guys about them. So here's what I've got today. Oh, this is quite heavy and I hope I can get it all into the shot. I should have raised the camera for this, I think. Um, hopefully you guys can see it all together. And I'm I'm pretty sure that anybody who knows glass will immediately know what this is. This is a Viking Amberina vase. Like a, it's it's a swung glass vase, basically. They have the, the base would be molded, and then essentially all of these little bits or whatever are kind of allowed to they swing it and then pull it in, you know, and essentially let it kind of drip and, and deform and everything. And it becomes this it takes this interesting lobe shape. It is in beautiful condition. And uh, hopefully you can see it here on the camera. If not, I'll help you out. There it is. You can just about make it out here. It has its original sticker. Fabulous. Just <laughs> so pleased that I finally actually found one of these. They're, they're incredibly difficult to spot in Vancouver anyway. Um, generally, if I see very nice Amberina vases like this, they're usually ridiculously overpriced, as in they're priced to like what the secondhand market will bear in thrift stores. And that's no good to me. I'm not, I can't go around spending like 80, you know, 70, 80 dollars on a vase just because I want to make a video about it. That's just, you know, it's not worth my while. I like, I, I'm not made of money, obviously. So I bought this for $10. I don't know if they kind of realized what they have, or at least they just saw it and thought, oh, it's a nice art glass vase and just kind of went with it. Or maybe they just didn't see the sticker. 10 bucks is a really good price for a nice art glass vase out of a thrift store, especially something like this. The other thing as well, okay, now if I'll just I'll pop that over there a second. The other thing about Viking, okay, especially their swung, their swung vases, swung glass vases, is that they're very frequently like knocked off. Like they're they're faked. They're faked a lot. Okay. So this is like hold on. So Viking glass. If you've never seen it before, the Viking art glass is is amazing stuff. Um come on, work work with me. Like you can see some of their forms here, and then the, the these big tall vases. There's the classic Viking glass kind of selection there. Fun fact, by the way, this book, this Viking glass book. I cannot find that anywhere online as a reference for less than $200. And I cannot spend $200 on one book. It's incredibly frustrating. Um, I would especially like to have it just for the early stuff. As it is, I, I essentially just bought a DVD of all of the Viking catalogs, which are far less useful than having the actual book, I think. But at least it gives me a reference point for, you know, as much of their, as much of their stuff as possible. And it means that I can go on and start looking for this and I can find out years and everything. As it happens, this particular form, 1973 to 74-ish. So not bad. You can data straight off. The actual vase model itself is 7, 7305, if I remember right. Anyway, so what do we know about Viking? <laughs> so let's just take a quick look. Viking swung vase red. What do people think? Is Viking swung, swung glass. Yeah, okay, we're not bad. Most of these, I think, would be would be pretty legit. Some of them will not be. Anything with a low base tends not to be, and I've seen a fair few that would be. They they're not like they they'd be kind of Chinese made. Again, not to knock Chinese glass. A lot of it is very high quality. It's just that they make stuff to match the vintage Viking glass. And it gets to be quite, quite obvious if you know what you're looking at anyway. I especially see them, they look a bit like this. This one says Ellie Smith, you don't know about that. Or I'd see them like this. This is a vintage amber glass or whatever. I see these on a semi-regular basis in thrift stores. And I know someone will buy them and say, oh, it's Viking or it's Ellie Smith or something vintage. This vintage swung glass that was done by a bunch of different companies in like the 70s. And it's not, it's just modern made copies. It's just kind of hard to tell. Um, I think I've definitely been been guilty that I didn't recall I had at least one uh, green swung glass vase that I thought might be Viking, and after you know after doing some research found that it probably wasn't. This one, however, we are certain of this. We can match it up to the catalog item, and obviously it has its original sticker. So here's what the seven three hundred five vase actually looks like. You see, they did it in a bunch of different colors. 
and we have one here already in red and this listed here is a handkerchief glass vase and I've seen it come up under a bunch of different kind of keywords it says epic column or ribbed or or handkerchief again or pedestal or what have you and to be honest I don't know if that's like something official by Viking I kind of suspect it wasn't it's literally just like a, one of their forms that's kind of nice the vase itself very very pretty and you can see it's got this hexagonal base which is pretty nice I'll just kind of put it down there try not to knock it it is quite heavy um like there is there is significant weight in this the shipping cost on this is going to be fairly fairly nasty i have looked at some of the actually i'll show you now some of the some of the ebay listings so here's some examples here Viking Amberina glaze, glass vase swung. And you can see that the shipping costs here are fairly high coming from the United States. This is just estimates or whatever. 30 to $40 Canadian, in that case 50, depending on the size. Size and weight's gonna make a huge difference in this. Again, I bought it for 10. But yeah, the, the nice thing obviously is that if you can match uh, a swung glass vase like this and match it to a particular model number for Viking and everything, then that's really great. That means you can list it as Viking, you know, it, you can, you can set the price properly or whatever. If you can't identify it conclusively as being from Viking or Ellie Smith or whatever, then, you know, you're stuffed essentially. It's just a nice art glass vase. But a few different examples here. You can see that the actual price of the vase itself can be pretty iffy. This one obviously sold for less than 20, but the shipping was almost $60 on its own. So it varies quite a bit. This one here, quite nice, sold for 106. And that's a 13 inch, so it's going to be quite... I can't do it here, I don't have enough space in the camera, but quite a bit taller than this. Which reminds me we didn't properly measure it because I'm an idiot. So we're gonna do that now. This one is just shy of nine inches tall, let's say eight and a half-ish. And it will be, I'm not doing this right. It's about five inches across. Yeah, so this, that over there don't fall so this one over here would be the like the one that sold for hundreds it's quite a bit taller than that it's 13 inches this one 17 inches best offer accepted and went for 52 not great here's another one like you can see that the smaller ones are kind of nice they, they like it, it kind of depends but again the most important thing is that there is actually a strong market for these vases people like them they like to collect them very nice not bad for ten dollars <laughs> So here we go. I think this will be, you can do that, it'll still be going up on Etsy. I really like the forms of it. I quite like swung glass. It's just that I can't really afford to collect this and Anne Murano and Robert Held and the other art glass that I'm already committed to. Um, I have seen some collections that people have done of like a Viking and Blanco and a few other kind of ones. And they essentially, because, because Viking did these kind of vases in all different colors, um, all basically all the colors of the rainbow it's possible to collect like an entire spectrum of these lovely swung glass vases and you just line them all up and they look really nice together it's a lovely effect so well worth collecting this style of stuff because it all kind of goes together you know the, the the actual shape itself was fairly common you know when it was popular when it was being made and then you just like you can just kind of line them all up at different heights and it just looks really cute <laughs> so definitely a market for it I'm happy with that so here we go. I don't know if I call this small because it is kind of large and heavy, but I like it nonetheless. And I hope you guys like it as well. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.